Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to manage your office and app settings. Let's get started. So I have a blank Word document open here, and the first thing that I want to show you is the account page in Word. And the way we do that is we go to the File tab, and we go down here to Account. And when you click on Account on the left side, you'll see that it gives you your user information right over here, as well as uh, your options for signing in or switching your account. Uh, some of you will see an option to update Word right down here, but um, if you have a subscription like mine, it updates automatically, and so you don't actually see that option. Over here, you have your office background, and currently I do not have a background set, and I'm going to show you what that background is. So this is where you customize Word to give it a little bit more of a personal feel, and if you hover over any of these, look in the top right of my screen, and you'll notice that they are changing the overall uh, background of what goes on with Microsoft Office for me. So this would go across all of the applications, Word, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, any application that I'm using. And so I'm going to leave mine as no background, uh, but you can change yours as you want to kind of give it a personal feel. Over here, you have your Office theme. This one serves a more practical use. You have your colorful theme, your dark gray theme, as you can see right there, or a white theme. So depending on your room that you're working in, you want to make sure that your theme is kind of set up to the way that you want. I leave mine as colorful because I do tutorials and most people leave it as colorful anyway and I don't want them to be concerned if they say, hey, why is yours in dark gray or why is yours so bright? Um, again, you want to set it up for your own personal situation. So right here, dark gray, that's if you typically work in a dark room or it's generally dark in your area. Dark gray is good because it'll be less light on your eyes. And so if it is in dark gray theme, um, again, it won't project so much light onto you. Uh, you also have the white theme. This one is a lot brighter. Okay, now if you're in a very bright room or you prefer bright colors, this would be the theme to go for you. Okay, I'm going to leave mine as colorful. Down here you have your connected services. This will show any OneDrive or SharePoint accounts that are set up to your Microsoft Office login. If you want to add a service, you go right here and you can choose storage and uh, you can link your OneDrive account. You could also link your OneDrive account in the taskbar down here using the cloud button and that will link across all of your uh, Windows 10 um, applications. Up here, or I, I guess if you want to learn more about OneDrive, I have a couple of videos on it, so I'm not going to explain it too much right now. Those are located in my Windows 10 folder, okay, or Windows 10 playlist. Up here, you have your current version of Office. You can see that I'm using Office Professional Plus 2016, and you can see all of the applications that it contains, all right, and so that'll list all of those. And then right down here, you can see your About Word section. The other thing that I'm going to explain really quick is the Options. Uh, button right here on the left side is the options button and this is really useful for the MOS exam if you're preparing for that and what this options button does is this affects all of your word options and so you have your general options like showing your user interface options which is right here let's say you never use the mini toolbar well you could get rid of it so you can kind of customize this entire area you have your display settings which will show uh, certain formatting marks on the screen by default over here is proofing settings, so if you have any autocorrect options where you want to change certain words to apply across um, you know, Microsoft Word, so if you type in something like um, uh, GTD, G, GTG and it says got to go, you can change up your options there. These are your save options, so you could choose it to recover every 10 minutes or adjust that, as well as other options here. Language, mine is set to English, but you could add another language as well. Down here are your advanced options, it deals with editing, copying and pasting, things like that. And over here is where you customize your ribbon. So you can actually customize this entire ribbon right up here at the top. So you guys can see that these options here, they basically are um, more specific options for uh, your Microsoft Word experience. So hopefully uh, that explained a little bit about Word options. I'm going to dive into those in future videos in more detail on specific things. Um, but that's the general overview on that. So make sure you know where that's at, for especially for the MOS exam. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about managing your Office applications, specifically with Microsoft Word. And if you have, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.